Right. I thought I would make a part two to getting a job in Japan um, in a bit more of a relaxed setting, not outside walking. Um, hopefully you enjoyed part one, which was a couple of years ago. I'm going to talk a bit more in detail today about what kind of jobs, um, where you can go to get those jobs, uh, what you can expect should you come to Japan now or later or before you get a job or after you get a job. A whole bunch of stuff is going to be very very important to understand this before you even think of coming to Japan so I would say stay for the full video if you want to make sure you get the right information um, so you don't make the wrong decisions okay so first of all what kind of job can you get in Japan you can get any kind of job you like of course well the most obvious one is obviously obviously English teaching um, you most likely need to be a native for that um, to increase your chances of actually securing any kind of work um, there are some companies that accept non-natives but even then your English needs to be outstanding and your degree most likely has to be in English um, you could also teach you know French or Spanish or whatever language is required but English is the easiest entry point into Japan I would say the easiest entry point into the land of the rising sun so if you want to come to Japan, teach English, English, no problem. That is super duper doable. Um, now, if you want to come as a network engineer or a project manager from, say, India, I get a lot of um, emails from India specifically who want to come to Japan. Um, then 99% of the time you need some sort of at least conversational Japanese. So if you don't have conversational Japanese, then it's not impossible, but it's super rare to get a job in Japan. Um, but if you know Japanese, then you go for it. So the most common is obviously, obviously English teaching. Um, and then the next I would say is jobs in IT and, and business, those kind of sectors. Um, yeah, so if you're coming for English teaching, not a problem. Now, what? kind of websites can you use now this is a big one because obviously you may have all the right credentials but where do i apply where do i go okay number one for especially for english teaching is gaijinpot.com now you definitely have heard of gaijinpot.com if you are especially from native english speaking countries and you're applying now most of those jobs that are posted require you to be in japan but there are some that Will sponsor your visa to come over. Um, another one is Dai Job. Um, by the way, I'm going to leave links to the um, websites below. Dai Job and other things like other websites like Jobs in Japan. All of them have lots of jobs for you to apply if you really want to come to Japan. Um, now, if you want to get a job in, say, network engineering or project management or even the pharmaceutical industry or whatever it may be then I would advise going to specific job agencies. Now, what that will do is that will increase your chances because you have someone looking specifically um, to match your, your skill level, I guess, and language ability to whatever is available out there. So what they'll do is kind of like matchmaking, you know, like dating online kind of thing. So they find the best candidates, which hopefully will be you, and the best companies to suit those candidates, bring them uh, together and they get a slice of the cake, if you know what I mean. Like they get some jing jing. Um, so that is definitely advisable. If you're in the IT industry, some good websites would be Robert, robertshall.jp and michaelpage.co.jp. Now those two are very good if you want to get into the IT industry. Um, and if you have any other type of, obviously, the IT and the English industry is not the only industries out there, aren't all the only industries out there. So if you do have um, other specialities, then I would say Google it. Google, for example, I don't know, pharmaceutical job agency in Japan. You'll see a list. One important tip I have for you is make sure if your CV is in Japanese, that you get a Japanese native to check it over. Because many a time, even in English, you can make spelling errors or you can make grammatical errors. You know, small little things that just make it your CV look a bit sloppy. So I would definitely say you don't want to look like a sloppy employee to your, obviously, your employee, your employer. 
So I would say get a native, a friend, or go on Fiverr.com for somebody to check it. Fiverr.com is like a freelance website where they can do language translation, any logo creation, anything basically for usually super cheap. You can get Japanese natives to go over your CV. And if it's in English, then get an English uh, native to check over your CV. That will definitely increase your chances. Another, <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> apply for every single job that meet your requirements. Obviously, don't go below your requirements or, you know, two way above your requirements. You won't get a, a reply. Well, it's unlikely it will. But I would actually, let me rephrase that. Apply for anything that meets your requirements and above. But concentrate on your effort, your efforts on things that meet your requirements and your skill skill level. Why not? Because getting a job in Japan isn't as easy as apply for the first thing you see and then, oh, yes, I've got a job in Japan now. No, it's going to probably take maybe 10 applications to get one interview or 100, depending on your industry um, and your experience. So it really does matter. Next up, what do we have? We have visas. Oh, I get this question a lot. A lot. I mean, when I mean a lot, I mean it's like some people think I can sponsor their visa like I am a Japanese owner. A Japanese owner? A, a owner of a company in Japan. Okay, let's get visas straight. Let's get them out of the way. You, as soon as you enter Japan, you have a three-month tourist visa depending on what nation you're from, what your nationality is. So some have 30 days, some will be 15, some you need to apply for to get into the country. But coming from England, I have a three month tourist visa. Can you work with that tourist visa? I hear you ask. No, you can't. So what do you do? If you're in Japan, well, I don't advise this. If you're, uh, I don't advise coming to Japan just to get a job and apply on a tourist visa. But if you happen to be in Japan on holiday, then you have three months to apply, but not work. Once you secure work, then your company can change your working, your tourist visa into a working visa. Now that's one way to get the visa. Another way is, and the most, well, the best way I believe is how I did it, is to find a job online, apply, secure a job, and what they'll do is they'll sponsor your visa even before you leave your country. So you'll get your visa, done and dusted as soon as you arrive at the airport you'll get your residence card which is like an id card saying you're a resident of japan once that's out of the way you've got your visa that's it um yeah so you can get a visa from within japan but it's highly unlikely the whole visa process will be sorted within that three month period you'll probably have to leave japan and come back or go back to your home country and wait for the paperwork to be done um what will what will you have to wait for you'll have to wait for something called first at the first instance the certificate of eligibility which is given to you before you can get your residence card you show it at the airport and they give you a residence card um and there's different types of visas you know depending on what industry you work in and what's available there's recently a new visa that was uh, issued in japan it's already been a few months i think where you can be a blue collar worker so usually you'd have to have like some kind of skill, like maybe be a, a teacher or a mechanic or something like that. But now you can work in a convenience store or a farm, but that's only available to, I believe, like six countries, including, I think, the Philippines. So if you're from somewhere like the Philippines or somewhere in Southeast Asia and you don't have a degree, you just want to come to work for a bit, then you can look into that visa. So if you just Google blue collar workers in Japan, um, the new visa then it will come up um, yeah but the problem it's not really a problem but there's a maximum stay of five years and then after that it can't be renewed with other visas you can renew them indefinitely and as long as you get accepted you can stay but with that visa after five years you can't renew it unless you get a different job which gives you a different visa so there's some issues with that if you want to stay for good or stay for a long longer while than just five years uh, blah, 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 blah. Another tip is, I would say, please don't don't waste your energy and on stressing out about visas. Waste your well, expend your energy on actually trying to secure a job, because once you've secured a job, then visas are sorted out. You don't need to worry about anything. You don't worry about it the wrong way around, because 
a visa won't happen unless you get a job. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, so, should you come to Japan to secure a job? I mentioned this a bit previously. No. In my humble opinion, this is just an opinion, do what you like. Um, but I wouldn't do that. Because yeah, there's a high risk you're going to end up leaving Japan highly disappointed. Because you didn't secure a job and you'll just be demotivated and not bother to, to you know, try again. Um, it's kind of difficult because there's a time limit and there's a urgency aspect to it. If you don't mind, then do it. And if you, if you happen to be in Japan for holiday or you intend to come for at least three months, whether you secure a job or not, it's fine because you wanted to come to Japan as a holiday anyway, then no problem, come. You got, depending on where you're from, like I said, up to three months to search. And even if you want to go do six months, you could take a quick trip to Korea travel a bit of Korea or whatever and then come back and then you've got another three month visa but beware because you can only stay I believe six months in Japan without um, a residence visa uh, and without being an actual resident so watch out for that um, so yeah secure your job and then maybe make that leap to come uh, make that leap to come to Japan um, next up and then th this is important this is very important so two ears listen please thank you very much didn't mean to be rude there just just saying this is important think about it do you actually want to come to japan think about it you know especially if you're working in a japanese company forget english english teaching for a second if you work in a japanese company so i've heard i've never actually worked in a I worked in a Japanese com company, so I've heard and so I've spoken to people who have worked in a Japanese company or do work in a Japanese company. It is very stressful. It's not, they don't have the laid back attitude you would find in like say Europe or other countries. Um, you often tend to have to stay up late at work without pay and it's normal. Even though they, they're kind of cracking down on that, but the culture is still there, it's very difficult to shake off. And a good tip I'd give you is, if you think you can't handle that, but you still want to come to Japan, then try applying to foreign companies within Japan. They tend to require less Japanese, plus the environment seems to be less Japanese, if that makes sense, less stressful. Um, so think about that. Are you willing to live that life? Or is it for you or is it not for you? Just, just think about that for a bit. Um, there's a lot more to talk about, like how much can I earn, um, other things like what should my Japanese skill be like if you're in Japan? What exactly do they require from me? Um, can I come to Japan just to teach English and not have to worry about issues like visa renewal and blah, blah, blah. Can a non-native speaker teach English and lots of other stuff. I don't want to go on and on and on. I can talk for much longer. But I would say uh, visit my blog called citybook.com where I just talk about a few more things. Um, I don't want to spend, I don't even know how long this video's been going on for, but it's all there. So if you look at the link below, citybook.com, you can you know find out a bit more about it. And I'll be continuously updating that article um, whenever I find out something new or realize I forgot something. So even if you've read it, pop back every couple of months you might find something new interesting something valuable you might learn from that um, guys I really really hope this was useful I remember being in your position looking for a job in Japan but well, specifically looking to teach and I really wanted to go but the guidance wasn't quite there there was a few videos here and there that you can collect and put together but after coming to Japan living that life experiencing it I can tell you that it's not as hard as you think. So you, you can definitely do it. Like I said in my other video, if you just apply and apply yourself. Um, if you haven't watched my other video, then you can I guess, click somewhere here. You know how it goes with YouTube. You'll find it somewhere. If not, it'll be in the link of my part one of the video where I just um, secured another part-time job when I was living in Osaka. And I thought I'd 
try and do something a bit motivational and inspirational for you guys when I come out here. Um, if this was useful to you, please leave a like. If it wasn't useful, don't leave a dislike. Just click that, you know, back button or whatever. Um, if you want more videos like this, you know, videos about Japan, just traveling in general, um, other videos about working in Japan, trying to get jobs in Japan, anything about Japan while I'm in Japan, then subscribe and definitely click that uh, notification icon thing that you click so you can be updated of videos uh, that I release. Um, other than that, take it easy, sayonara, take care, have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you may be. Bye-bye.